someone running a 249 as a debut marathon is pretty impressive already. And for a lot of marathoners, if they could ever get anywhere close to that time, that would be a crowning lifetime achievement. Sub 240, I wanna do it again. And I wanna run under two hours and 40 minutes. How in the hell am I gonna shave nine minutes off of what I just did? We need milestones to yes. like mark time, right? If it's just this like expansive, unending yes. future, right. yep. then how do you make sense of the progress you've made? Absolutely. Like, it's 240, but who cares, right? right? right. It's 240 because it marks this chapter of time, right. right? But also there's still so many layers of trauma that I had not dealt with and possibly still have it. When he was adopted into that family, it was not obvious where he fit in that whole dynamic and that whole system. There are those windows is where we all lived. Six kids. When you're in these really difficult physical states, your body and your mind runs through the gamut of emotions and it becomes both therapeutic but it also can be haunting. Because all these things that you may not even realize that you're carrying with you suddenly come bubbling to the surface. finally here, the moment so many of you have been waiting for, our movie, our documentary, Moving Still, about the life, art, and running of Joe Greer is going to premiere in Franklin, Tennessee, March 9th, 2024. Now you might be asking, why Franklin, Tennessee? Well, that's Joe's hometown. It's where he lives now. And it's uh, where we shot a lot of this documentary, which is super sentimental and would be really cool to be able to premiere it for the first time in that place, especially since like the theater where we're uh, premiering it, the Franklin Theater, is actually in the film. So it's kind of meta and cool in that way. We're really excited about what the whole night is going to be. It's essentially going to be a whole like four hour event where there will be mingling and snacks and drinks in the beginning. Everyone will move into the theater where we screen the film, which is about a 70 minute runtime, a proper uh, full feature length film. And then after uh, we watch the film, we're gonna sit down and do an audience Q&A with Joe and the entire crew on the production of the film and Joe's story and all that stuff. So that's going to be super cool. And once we're done with that, we'll go back to mingling with snacks and drinks. So it's just going to be a whole event, not just watching the movie. Now, let me be super clear. This is not the only premiere we're doing for this movie. This is just the first one and just how we are kicking things off. We recently decided that we don't want to go the festival route and we want to do full self-distribution. took a long time to come to that conclusion, but we think that's the right move. This is our first step at what that's going to look like. And then if you are interested in you know, a major city where you live, if you're not wanting to travel to Nashville area for this one, you can sign up for our email list, which I'll talk about in a second here, to get information on the cities that we're going to next dates and times and all that good stuff. So if you want tickets for this specific event on March 9th in Franklin, you need to sign up for the email list that's linked in the description. It's right at the top of the description here. That's going to be the main source of how we communicate with everything related to moving still. And it's going to be where you find tickets for this event on March 9th. Tickets for the Franklin premiere on March 9th will go live Friday, February 23rd at noon Central Standard, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That announcement will be through the email list formally, and then we'll be blasting it all over our Instagrams as well. But please make sure you are on the email list to get that link to purchase the tickets or else you will not have access to it. And we're assuming they're gonna go super, super fast. So set a reminder in your calendar, an alarm, whatever you need to do to make sure at noon Central Standard, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard, you're ready to go to purchase your tickets if you'd like to go to the Franklin premiere. There's a small difference in ticket price once you see that on Friday. If you're looking at tickets, um, there's a balcony option that's a bit more expensive. That's more of a VIP experience where there's better viewing of the screen and you'll be getting a, a souvenir with that purchase, just so you know on the front end. By the time the Franklin premiere happens, it will almost been an entire two years since the first day of production on this film. So to say it's been a lot of hard work is um, an understatement. We have been waiting for this moment to finally publicly announce that you can see this film in real life and it's just going to get better and better in the months uh, moving forward as we screen it a bunch of times we're so excited to bring this film to you joe and his story is unbelievably profound if you saw in the trailer here it's 
it's much more than running. I think a lot of people were under the impression that it was just going to be about Joe's marathon running uh, and it ended up being about a whole lot more. So yeah, we're thrilled to be able to finally show this to people. I hope to see you there. If you want to come to the Franklin premiere, please make sure you are signed up for that email list and that you're ready to go Friday, February 23rd, noon central standard, 1 p.m. Eastern standard. I love you all so much. I'm so excited to bring moving still to y'all and I'll uh, see you soon.